Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. This is a follow-up video to the Yashica Mat 124G. Um, I ran a I ran a roll of Kodak Portra 400 through it, and I want to get my first impressions on color film. When I did the black and white film, I didn't really like that the way they turned out. So I figured the best way to do it was to do color and see how sharp and how the colors come out on the Portra 400 as well. So you'll be able to see all 12 shots that I did on this Yashica. I only had about 4 out of the 12 that I really enjoyed. Um, and I'll talk about those in a little bit. Uh, but first, you guys will check out the pictures and then we'll talk about the Yashica. So now that you guys saw all of the images, uh, let's talk about them. So my top four are to start off number one, uh, and they're not in any particular order or anything, but my first shot here is about this guy walking on the sidewalk um, next to a parking structure. That's what the blue uh, bars on the side is. And he was walking towards the camera. I did shoot this at F3.5. I focused on the guy, but it is a little bit out of focus. I do like the colors. I like that this was the last picture I snapped. And really, I didn't get to meter this one. This was mostly just kind of like guessing what the um, aperture was going to be and the, you know, the shutter speed based off the lighting around it. So I'm really happy the way this turned out. My second image is going to be uh, this one of my friend Victor and... I'm a portrait photographer. I like shooting people. And the way this came out, I thought the colors were great. Um, the focus was maybe not on point. I did focus on his eyes. However, it looks like it's focusing more on his shoulder. So this camera could be a little bit back focused. Um, however, I did like the, the quality. I did like the way that it turned out, the colors, uh, the composition on this. I like the background, how it's nice and blurry. Um, I believe I shot this at a f3.5 as well. Um, so this was my second image that I really liked. This one here was on our way out of that location. As we were walking out, you can see the brick wall uh, exit. You can see how that was framing that pillar really nicely. However, if I could change this image, I think I would want to get the whole entire pillar in the, in the frame as opposed to it being cut off by these bricks. I like the way the colors turned out as well. And my third and final shot that I really enjoyed is going to have to be this one here of this building uh, during sunset. I think this was the last shot I took. And um, I like the way that the sky falls off. And then the main focus is the building. Uh, it is a little blue on the bottom, but I think that was a reflection of another building, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if I could, I would probably erase or, uh, compose my shot a little better so that the buildings on the right hand side were not there and it's just the sky. That way the bottom left hand corner up into the middle is busy and then the upper right hand corner is not busy at all. Um, other than that, I really enjoyed this picture. Now to talk about the Yashica, um, some of the great features that I like is one, it is a waist level viewfinder. I also like that the focusing knob on the left hand side, as you're looking down, all of the buttons are either your thumb like this, you can't really see that. You can control everything as you're holding it like this and looking down. Buttons here, or I should say the knobs, aperture and shutter speed, as well as your focus. 
you're holding it really nicely with one hand as your thumbs or your other hand is doing the focusing on there. So that's a really cool feature about these um, TLRs. Um, some of them like the uh, Mamiya C330, I did test that one out once and that one was really bulky and very hard to maneuver. So I like that this is very nice and um, small and compact. I do like the way that pictures turned out. I think it was um, a success. My first impressions definitely, um, I, I can see me keeping this camera um, for the long run here, not selling it or anything, unless something else or something better comes up. But as of now, this definitely is a keeper. I'm gonna give it about a nine out of 10. Um, I think the Leica M2 that I did a review on was uh, the first impressions. I did it, I give it a nine out of 10 as well. However, that one would have been a 10 out of 10 if the focus, I'm sorry, if the lens wasn't so soft, uh, kind of like up into infinity focus. So there's my first impressions. I hope you like the images. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, look at my other videos. Um, I show you how to scan some film. Um, and I also show you the review on the Leica with those negatives that I scanned. So yeah, thanks for watching.